This is Jose Blanco, for those of you who are not in class and are watching. Today I'm going to talk about thesis statement. Now, we, you wrote on a topic last time about a place that you would like to visit but may not appeal to others. Right? So I'm going to write that on the board. Topic. A place you would like to visit but may not appeal to others. All right, and as we discussed last time, how many ideas do we have going there? Zudea? Huh? Two ideas, exactly, two ideas. One, you would like to visit this place. Two, other people may not, right? So what we have here is a contrast relationship, a relationship between two ideas that are opposite to each other. Now I'd like you to write down the following three words. These are words that indicate contrast. The word but, and I'll put a comma in front of it. The word however, and I'm gonna put a semicolon in front of it and the word although. And I'm not going to put anything before it or after it. All right, but, however, and although. Yes, sir? I have all that. I, I, my first semester I took in Kendall. Right. Great. Right now, let's just focus on these three words because, because I don't want to overwhelm. No, no, that's a, great, that's a great worksheet. Let me see it after class. All right. Now, but, however, and although all indicate contrast. But, they, we don't use them in exactly the same way. So just remember that you can use one of these in your thesis statement. All right? Now, let's say that you're talking about the Dominican Republic. All right? That you chose to write about the Dominican Republic. All right. And remember, the thesis statement is the last sentence of your first paragraph. The last sentence of your introductory paragraph. So the two ideas are, I would like to visit the Dominican Republic, <coughs> well, I think there's a capital T there, because it's part of the, the title, the name of the country, the Dominican Republic. And now try to include some sort of hint of a reason. Maybe because of its natural beauty and culture. Rich culture and natural beauty. B-E-A-U, there we go. All right. Now that's one idea. That is one idea that you have going. I would like to visit the Dominican Republic. Some may say I would like to visit China. Some might say I would like to visit Trinidad and Tobago. Whatever place that you chose, right? Now the contrast is, but others might not want to. Why? Maybe because of its extreme poverty. because of its extreme poverty. Now, in this sentence, which could be your thesis statement, you have two ideas going. One, that you would like to visit the Dominican Republic, and yes, that does address the topic. And two, others might not want to. And you also indicate the reason, right? Um, rich culture. That's one reason. Natural beauty, that's two. And the extreme poverty, that's three. So I would suggest to you that in this particular topic, you could conceivably have three body paragraphs. 
your thesis suggests three body paragraphs. One, that you're going to, in one paragraph, you're going to talk about the rich culture of the Dominican Republic. In another paragraph, you're going to talk about the natural beauty of the Dominican Republic. And in another paragraph, you're going to put why somebody might not want to visit, and you're going to discuss the poverty, the extreme poverty of the Dominican Republic. Does that make sense? No. Anybody have any questions on this? All right. Um, let me turn this off.